Joe Biden is in Mexico for the North American Leaders Summit, along with the presidents of Mexico and Canada. Skyler Henry reports the three leaders have a lot to talk about, including migrants from Central and South America arriving at the southern U.S. border. President Biden is kicking off the North American Leaders Summit, meeting one-on-one -on -one with Mexico's president. The flow of migrants is at the top of their agenda. This is something that is not unique to the United States. It's gripping the hemisphere and a regional challenge requires a regional solution. Mexican President Manuel Lopez Obrador announced his country would accept up to 30,000 migrants per month from Cuba, Nicaragua, Haiti and Venezuela while they await amnesty verdicts in the U.S. It follows a Biden administration policy announcement that migrants from those four countries are eligible for a two-year work visa if they have sponsors, pass background checks and secure an airline flight into the U.S. President Biden made his first visit to the U.S.-Mexico border since he's been at the White House over the weekend. During a stop in El Paso Sunday, Border Patrol agents told him they need help. They need a lot of resources and we're going to get them for them. Texas Governor Greg Abbott met the president in El Paso and delivered a letter in which he said, this chaos is the direct result of your failure to enforce the immigration laws that Congress enacted. It just so happens he's two years and about $20 billion too late. President Biden sent Congress an immigration reform plan two years ago, where it hit Republican opposition. Mexico's president says President Biden agrees on working together to address the causes of migration so people wouldn't have to leave their home countries. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.